Hello everybody, welcome to you, welcome back to my channel. Never let poor Rudolph join the rain games. It is November. It's actually November 13th, 14th, 13th, 13th. It's like five weeks, five weeks till Christmas. What the hell? The temperatures have dropped to like sub zero, I swear. I mean, they haven't, that's so dramatic, but it feels like it. And can't go to the club anymore without taking a jacket, which is really, really stressful and horrible occurrence, to be honest. So it's not ideal. However, it is festive out there. I'm telling you, it is festive. And the winter fashion is absolutely popping off. And I just really fancy doing some winter styling. So I asked on Instagram for anything that you guys wanted me to style for, as in like events, situations things that happen in the winter months. I've actually got them all laid out on my bed, like the prepared queen I am. And I'm really excited to put them on. I don't know if they'll actually look good, so I might have to switch some things up a wee bit. But we've got some really cute ideas and I'm just so excited to start this, so I'm just gonna go. First sort of, I don't know what to call it, activity, yeah? Like winter activity that um, people requested I style for is Christmas market. Actually, the best thing about Christmas, I haven't been to one yet, but I'm so, so, so excited. I think I'm going to one tomorrow because my best friend's coming to visit and I think that's what we're gonna do. Literally beyond excited. So I'm gonna start with that outfit. Let's go. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a bit chilly, but outside we need to be wrapping up warm. I've got these new trousers from ASOS. So I'm gonna pop these on. I am like ridiculously bloated by the way today, so can we just skim over that? Basically I've got a stomach bug, just not having a good time in there, so we'll just ignore that. So I've got these, so for cream, I think. So I'm gonna pop this on. Okay, we've got her on. She is a little bit risque, a bit scandalous. We could have a little, little slippage, but we won't because we're gonna counteract this with a blazer. It's all about layers. Oh, that was close. I just brought the camera down a bit so hopefully you can see a bit better, but I'm thinking it's a bit too neutral for me. So I'm gonna throw on a green scarf and then I'm adding green and brown boots. We've got the brown to go in for the rest of it. And you're just gonna have to pretend that these greens are the same shade. They're absolutely not, but I feel like they're far enough apart for it to not be too much of an issue. So I fucking love these boots. These are also from ASOS. I look like that thing from the ring, you know, with the hair, like <laughs> Cute, okay, final touches. So Christmas market, we've got to go to the extreme festive vibes. Popping on this. I don't actually know what it's called, it's not how, it's like a headband. I also picked up these little fingerless gloves. I haven't worn them yet, I got them in the charity shop yesterday and they, pretty much match hat. What are we thinking? Was she team too much? Is she team too much with the hat? You can wear it without the hat. Either way, I'm having a good time at my Christmas market, drinking my chai latte or my mulled wine. Oh my God, I'm so excited for mulled wine. You don't actually understand. But it's a bit of a weird shape. I probably just because I've got a small ass head to be fair. I have got a pea head. Maybe I'll do a brown beanie instead. Like that's better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's turn it down a bit. I got a bit excited. I got a bit carried away. Apologies. Green, brown, cream. I really like this. Door. I hate filming when they're in, it's so awkward. I don't even know if they can hear me, they probably can't. Mm. I can't hear them, but like, I'm speaking quite loud. Never mind. Okay, we're gonna move on to outfit number two. Loads of people requested this one. Winter Wonderlands. Winter Wonderland. Yeah, I'm so excited to go to Winter Wonderland. It opens. Oh my god, so soon, like less than a week. I really need to book it, but I don't think I'm supposed to be going till like December, so I need to find someone to go with me before that because I'm not waiting that long. I physically can't, I will go on my own if needs must. I'm thinking red vibes, like red Christmas, gotta be done. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's kind of basic, kind of classic, but I feel like I can make it look cooler than that. It's quite a lot of confidence going on there, but, a lot of optimism, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. I literally look like a hunchback 
what am I doing? Um, what am I going to go for? So I've got just a very basic black skirt and equally as basic, if not more basic, black roll neck. This is about to go down. Okay, the foundations of the outfit are on, but obviously this is not it. This is not it at its full potential. I'm going to add these tights. These are actually like slightly like leopard print. Um, which I think is cool because otherwise like the outfit is just a bit boring. Do you know what I mean? Also, by the way guys, apparently Ellie Darby is going to be at Shepherd's Bush Westfield tomorrow. If I see her, I will cry. I will cry. Maybe not in front of her, but like I will at some point. Okay, you probably can't see the print that well, but I've got the tights on. Now we're going to add the red accessories. Favourite jacket in the world, which is this red vintage leather jacket and then i've got two pairs of red shoes and i'm not sure which to go for so we can do a cowboy boot moment or a red mary jane moment and i'm just not sure i love these but i feel like these are more winter wonderland to me they're actually more wizard of oz to me than anything but in which case i'm also gonna add these little free socks if you voted for cowboy boots i'm really sorry next time i swear just realized i don't actually own a black or red hat and like who's going to winter wonderland without a hat she is looking a bit bland so maybe i can do this one second yeah what are we thinking are we loving are we hating i think i'm loving a white bag or i could do a black bag either either works i really like it I feel like red lips as well, but I can't be asked for that right now. But I think it's cute. Next up, we've got a cute winter walk, which I think is quite simple. Like, it's literally anything. But I think I'm going to go for my new skirt, which I picked up yesterday from Pull and Bear, which is brown. So nice. I've been looking for a nice brown skirt because um, I just love brown. That's all that needs to be said, really. I'm not going to change much in this one at all. So I'm just going to change the skirt quickly. The okay, skirt is on. Now I'm going to pop on this bad boy, which I adore. I got from a charity shop near me. <laughs> Coming to the charity shop near you. What else am I thinking with this one? I'm not hundred percent sure i've got these leopard print gloves which i feel are a must for a wee winter walk this is obviously not a cold cold walk <laughs> this is just a brisk walk perhaps down the end of the road to the starbucks to get a chai latte which i'm currently obsessed with never had one before and then this last week i've just been absolutely in love what shoes do i want to wear though Docks? Docks? Loafers? Docks? Loafers? These would work, but I'm going for loafers simply because I cannot be asked to put docks on because they take an absolute age to put them on. So I'm going for these loafers, which are from Naked. Then, do we reckon this hat again? Cute! Excuse the progressively messier pile on my bed. It was actually really organised when I started this, but hey-ho. Um, little brown bag. This is actually really cute, I think. It's kind of good for London to be fair because I could literally wear this today and I would not be cold. But as soon as it gets dark, it's fucking freezing. Then again, if you did want to go a bit warmer, I feel like I could turn this very quickly into more of a nighttime sort of situation. So I've grabbed my little jacket. To be fair, you can wear this as well if it is like a bit colder. With the shoes, I don't, mm, I don't know about these shoes with tights and skirt. I'm gonna give it a go. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Okay, that's quite cute. It's not my favourite, but it's quite cute. What is next on the agenda? Oh my god, this next one, literally, I saw it and it cracked me right up. I thought this was just the most perfect idea. Um, so it's ice skating, but Blair Wardle style. And I thought, I've got this, I can do this. I'm gonna keep on this skirt, which is like the brown one. And then I've got this really cute 
little cardi from Zara, which is giving me major Blair vibes. It's got these little gold buttons on. I haven't worn it in ages, so I'm going to pop this on. A okay, cardigan is on. This is the most unflattering top in the world. Like, I literally never wear it done up. Then I'm going to swap out the tights for these white ones, which are from Urban. They've got these, like, little bows on them. I think these are so Blair. I'm defo going to have to wear these. The tights are on, obviously. Blair is very much a ballet pumps kind of gal. Don't have any of those, I'm afraid. So we're just going to pretend that I'm wearing ballet pump shoes because I cannot put trainers on and say that it's a Blair Waldorf outfit. Outfit, But realistically, she'll be wearing ice skates. So no hate. Not winter appropriate at all in the slightest. So I'm just going to pop on this white little fur coat. I feel like she would wear something like this just because of the shape. It's quite like poncho-esque. And then in the show, obviously she wears the cutest thing when she goes ice skating, but she also wears a beret. And I do have a leopard print beret and I can't find it. So I must have left it at home. Not that I feel like she would wear leopard print anyway, but you know, um, so I've literally just got this fluffy white bucket hat, which she wouldn't wear, but we're gonna pretend it's, I've done my best. Okay, I've done my best. I tried to understand the assignment. I don't know if I've passed it. I don't know, but I tried. He's sick of the sight of this, but I feel like this is a bit more Blair. Blair vibes. Last but not least, my final request is a Christmas party. Uh, I bought this top yesterday. I bought this from Pull and Bear as well, and I absolutely love it. It's like sparkly and teal, and I just love the neckline, V-neck, which is so flattering on the double a cups um i love it so i'm gonna pop that on here she is i put her on with these leather flares which are actually from topshop i don't know if you can still get them and then just this little wee black bag i think it's quite cute i like the top because it's all sparkly which is such christmas party vibes a little keyhole as well really cute um absolutely adore these flares i always get compliments when i wear them as well so a bit of an ego boost if you're looking for one of them purchase so that is it for today's video i hope that everyone enjoyed it i hope that you got some styling inspiration thank you so so much for watching i really 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 appreciate it i'm in such like a a flow with the filming at the moment my tiktoks i can't stop it's bad it is bad but also like good at the same time so don't forget to follow me on instagram and on tiktok it's just at yaslo every single social media platform that you can imagine and i hope that you all have a lovely day i hope that you're enjoying the festivities as they get more and more more and more festive doesn't really feel like it's christmas yet for me but i am thoroughly enjoying the gradual little of christmas you know the little, little snippets i really enjoy have a lovely day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in next week's video Never let poor Rudolph...